Breaking right now, a third person is dead tonight after last night's lightning strike by the White House. Yeah, we're told the latest victim is a 29-year-old man. Two other people, a couple visiting D.C. for their wedding anniversary, were also killed at Lafayette Square. News 4's Darcy Spencer has more tonight on the victims and the doctors who just happened to be there and rushed to help. We're here at Lafayette Square. This is the tree that was hit by lightning last night. You can see the damage. We spoke to medical professionals who just happened to be here when the storm hit. This video taken from the Washington Monument shows the severe lightning storm Thursday night. Lightning hit this tree just steps from the White House, critically injuring four people. This couple from Wisconsin died from their injuries. Relatives say Donna and Jim Mueller, both in their mid-70s, were high school sweethearts. They were in D.C. for their 56th wedding anniversary. A third person, a 29-year-old man, has also died. We're looking this direction, uh, heard, well, actually, I saw first kind of a thunderball in the tree and then heard the booming and saw people just falling down. Alexander Brands is a doctor visiting from Germany. He and his wife were close by, getting a look at the White House on their first day here. He knew he had to do something. Then I ran, obviously, being a doctor, working in an emergency uh, unit as well, um, just ran over here and tried to help. Brand says he did chest compressions on a woman and assisted as multiple people, U.S. Park Police officers and Secret Service officers with AEDs, tried to revive those hit by the lightning strike. Dr. Alistair Martin is a fellow at the White House who was leaving work when the storm hit. Heard the thunder and saw the lightning at the same exact time. I said, I got to get the hell out of here. But then he learned people had been hurt and knew he also had to help. He took this photo of the desperate efforts to save lives. He called the actions of the Secret Service officers heroic. You know, we began CPR and, uh, uh, and eventually uh, uh, were able to get uh, two of the people's uh, heart rhythms back before I left, before we handed them back over to the ambulance. Several people, including an ER nurse here on vacation, rushed to help, even as the rain poured and lightning streaked across the sky. The White House issued a statement saying they are saddened by the tragic loss of life here, and their hearts are with the families that are grieving. At Lafayette Square, Darcy Spencer, News 4.